Hey guys, I am back with a new video today. In today's video, I am checking out Lineage 2M by, I guess it's probably like Lineage 2M is an old game by Netbarble, but no, a new one by NCSob, which they released today globally on iOS and Android. So you guys can check it out if you guys want to. I'll let you guys know if this game is worth playing or not. So if it's your first time here, guys, it won't be your last. I give you guys mainly mobile MMORPG content, uh, reviews and such. So make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, make sure you guys subscribe. And let's jump right into today's game. So, Lineage 2M. Basically, if you guys don't know, if it's your first time to mobile, whatever. Lineage have released probably like four or five titles. A couple of them were very successful on the mobile market. But it seems like they keep coming back to the mobile market for one or two reasons. Either it's really good money or they just want to make a good game. So, we're going to find out which one it really is. Now, I am playing on my phone. I used to play on an emulator, but... I want to get the full phone mobile experience on this. So we're going to be playing on the phone. And right here we are on the character selection screen. So from the bat, I can already tell that you can actually change between different uh, races, which is a good start. Hopefully there's no gender lock. Uh, I'm hoping I can change this uh, human to a female. Because if there's a gender lock, that's already a big oof from the start, you know. Because I should be able to, like, if you give me a race options, I should be able to also get uh you know gender options so we're gonna go with the elf she looks cute but but look at this guys if you switch some of the uh races you can see that they have different classes too on the side so you can't be for example can you be a human archer yeah you can okay you can't be a dwarf archer though you can only be like cleric is that a healer i hope that is a healer yeah heal wounds and abilities so let's see how many healer options we have we have Dark Elf can be a healer. We have Dwarf can be a healer. An Elf can be a healer. And a human can be. Only an Orc can be a healer. That's kind of messed up. Orc can be a Warlock though. So there's a lot of um, class options here. It seems like there's about 12 classes. Good range. So I'm hoping they have the Holy Trinity. Because if they have a healer, right? And a DPS or a bunch of DPSs. And a tank. Golden Shield, then I think that they should be go for the Holy Trinity, which is a really good thing. I really like that uh, about MMO that I think is very important. They have a lot of different DPSs, as you guys can see. We have mages, we have archers, we have rangers. I'm not going to jump too deep into that. You know, you guys go for the class you guys want. And if you guys want a class video, let me know in the comments below. I'll make a full on class video, which class is best, which class you guys should go for, and so on. But let's jump right into it. Let's stop stalling. We're going to go with the Elf, Sword, and Shield. Spit. Is my name heal yeah so it seems like now what you guys saw there right there's two bad things right now first of all there was no gender option so you locked onto the gender which it's kind of weird like you kind of make this game and then you're gonna have you know gender lock and second character customization where is the character customization like hello how is there no character customization in this beautiful looking game? And, oh my god, guys. Can I not, like... It's locked. The camera is locked. This game is not 3D. I mean, I didn't expect much because Lineage usually don't have a free look on the camera on a full 3D. Uh, which is really unfortunate, to be honest. Like, that's, that's a terrible start so far for the game. In my opinion, you guys might think differently. But for me... And when I review MMOs, I like combat to be super fluid, camera to be super fluid. No, you can move while attacking. I want no gender lock. I want character customization. And this game is not doing that great right now. They have a lot of class options, so they have Holy Trinity. But other than that... Oh, wait. Can I? Oh, you can move a camera. Okay, I spoke too soon. So they have full 3D. Oh my god, look how crazy the zoom is. So they have full 3D. My bad, okay? I was in the intro screen. Maybe that judged it a little too early, but that full 3D, that is really good. Now, I want to do a little bit of combat, though. Let's go to settings. Let's put, let's put this on as high as possible, okay? I'm going to burn my phone right now. Display. Put it under settings. Graphics. But now I get like a graphic quick setting. High. I want everything high. Cool. Okay, so let's see. How does this game look? Huh? It looks pretty good, right? It gives me like a Black Desert vibe. Does it give you guys a Black Desert vibe? 
kind of gives me a black desert and this is like the phone graphics though let's do the quest they have auto quest of course do you guys expect anything from a mobile mmrpg 2021 come on guys of course he does auto i kind of want to look at the shop and stuff so i've been hearing a little bit about this and i don't really believe it myself but the devs have said that it's not going to be as pay to win as the other lineage games and for me that sounds like a cap right it's obviously going to be pay to win right every time a dev says it's going to be less pay to win it means it's pay to win so uh the second i, I can access the shop you can't walk through the people oh oh that can make combat a little interesting actually i don't know if i like that or not but i don't mind it you know not like a super pet peeve but where can i purchase i want to pay to win money okay so they show the diamonds right on top of your screen but when i select it they don't let me so they're probably gonna let make me quest a little bit you know that's fine i kind of want to know uh how the combat is can i move while i attack this guy let's say i want to fight you right so when it comes to the normal attack you can't really move it, it literally locks you in which is not a good sign but hopefully when i use my skills there should be some skills that you can aim and stuff and uh play like you want or is gremlin huh you kill three gremlins i don't wanna like we have as you guys can see on the sidebar already we have pvp we have rankings there are dungeons raids however i don't see any type of raids here uh we have dungeons so you have the market some spirits probably stuff to upgrade your gear and stuff nothing too crazy uh dailies guilds uh nothing like very interesting to be honest very like i feel like there's no hmm it seems like it's world pvp and not pvp arenas from what i can tell which also i don't know how i feel about that i wish there was i feel like pvp arenas is just so important these days in mmorpg like i can't really fully enjoy an mmo if i can't really like do some proper pvp you know but let's keep going overall the game looks you know it looks decent it doesn't it's not the prettiest thing i've ever seen but it, it's not like bad looking either right yeah i know i can change my cams you don't have to tell me shoulder cam okay no thank you fixed cam no thank you yo free cam there we go free cam is the best let's be real yo can i learn some skills though i would like to learn some skills my class Mmm. You can class transfer or to class pass. So I probably will dive deeper into the class later on. We have rankings. We have codex. I really want to see the pay to win shop though. Like this game is stalling me. You know, they don't like they don't like showing the shop immediately because they know reviewers like me are gonna, you know, give them a. Not so good review when I see that pay to win shop. Okay, use a skill book. Let's see here. Activate. Okay, we got a skill now. Good. But why is the skill here? Like, what is this? Why is the why is the skill on the bottom? I never understand this. Like, you're playing it right like this. The skill bar should always be on the right side. That's kind of uncomfortable. Okay, if I want to use this, can I hit? Can I hit the dummy too? No. They're not gonna let me hit the dummy? Come on, man. The skill you have just learned is when can I unlock the pay to win? <clears throat> Please, let me unlock the pay to win. Yeah, you, that's that's something like you don't hear anybody say. Unlock the pay to win. You guys are like, what are you saying, Spit? We don't want pay to win. What the? Okay, let's try kill this guy. And let's use the skill we learned. Okay, same thing. Same thing. It's... It stops my movement when I use it. It's not a really good thing. I don't like that at all. Overall. Now, it seems like they're hiding the shop for me. I don't know for how long. But I'm going to have to play this game a little bit more. Dive a little bit deeper into it. Make like a, even a more in-depth end game review. And then I'll include the shop. I usually like to include the shop in the first video, guys. Because uh, that's what most of you guys want to know. Like how the game is. How it's played overall. And if it's pay to win. How pay to win it is basically. Because all MMOs are pay to win. Uh, but honestly, I don't have too big hopes for it, but I'm not going to fully judge it yet. Uh, but overall opinion of the game, to be honest, 
Now, this game definitely has a little bit of potential, but not too much. It's, it gives me like generic uh, mobile MMORPG vibes, like Korean MMORPG vibe. You have some auto, some pretty looking characters. There is gender lock. However, you have a lot of races to change between. So there's like a plus and a minus. There's a lot of classes. You have the Holy Trinity, which is a, which is a good thing in my opinion. It's a good thing. Uh, but there's no character customization, which is insane. Um, you're releasing in mobile MMORPG with no character customization. Everybody looks the same. It's just not it, okay? Uh, they have the full 3D view, you know, free look camera. Camera looks beautiful. The zoom out is incredible. Uh, the world looks I will say above average. Uh, it could look better. And I'm playing on like a full on graphic too. Uh, the shop is being hidden, but I know it's a little pay to win. And the combat, I don't really feel the combat yet, especially early game. Hopefully it gets better like late game. But for now, uh, nothing special. And then when it comes to content wise, it seems like they have some dungeons, maybe some type of PvP, uh, area, world PvP for sure, but PvP arenas, not quite sure. But that is my opinion. Overall, I'm going to give it like a 6 out of 10 rating. I think that's pretty fair for this game. But if you guys enjoyed this review, let me know. If you guys are playing this game, let me know if you guys are enjoying it. What class did you guys choose? Okay? Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.